Um, first, let me say to um, Baltimore Magazine, thank you for saluting these 30 visionaries. And when I think about Baltimore, having not been born and raised here, you know, I found it very easy to create, develop, and design here. And I remember when I thought about creating the Baltimore Design School, and it was just talking with some folks about an idea that I saw in New York and said, I could do this in Baltimore. And I pulled together some folks and we, we did it right here in Baltimore. And one of the things that I know about our city is that there is a perception problem, but there's also a media problem, and there's also a lack of investment problem, and there's a lack of equality and inclusion. And that's why I became mayor because I want to change that perception and work on the media not depicting Baltimore always as this negative place to be. And yet, the New York Times said, Baltimore, of 52 other cities around the nation, was number 15 to visit. But how many times do we hear that story? And we talk about the violence that exists in our city, but yet, just on yesterday, I was having a conversation with the media and they were saying to me, are you following the trials of the police officers? And I, are you sitting in the courts? No, I don't get to sit in the courts every day because I have a city to run. But do I know what's going on? Absolutely. Am I focused on reducing violence in our city? Yes. But the story they didn't say yesterday was that violence is down 37%, homicides are down 30 some odd percent in the city. Non-fatal shootings are down 47%. They didn't tell that story yesterday. And they didn't talk about violence being down in every single category. But a reporter who was angry because I caught him on a story that he had said a week ago that was totally incorrect. Mayor Pugh has taken $150,000 and building a, a studio inside City Hall, converting the conference room and the ceremonial room into a TV studio. And anybody who knows anything about television knows there's no way in the world. I've run nine radio stations, built two TV stations. It costs millions of dollars. And what I said to the reporter was, you all come in here every week and plug in your television stations and so we don't have to run the risk of you all blowing up City Hall. We have to rewire this old building, which cost about $150,000, but it's not taxpayers' money because Comcast gives us money every year because we own a TV station. So we have a media perception problem. There's always this, I got you moment, as opposed to, and I tell folks, don't like me, like this city. Love this city, because it's a great city. Has it been unjust? Yes. Has it been inclusive? No. But did we get $10 million on behalf of Bloomberg and Goldman Sachs and others to create and expand businesses in the city? Yes. Did we get $5 million from Bloomberg to change the lighting in the city and provide technology that was not in our police department, that they put computers in police cars in 1997 in Prince George's and Montgomery County and nobody thought it was important to do it here in Baltimore City? And so we did that. And we're doing that. Do we have a problem in terms of policing in the city? Absolutely. A 163-page report by the Department of Justice said we need to change our policing practices in the city. We've got to teach folks to be fair and just and to focus on how do you develop and create a community and how do you do community policing in such a way that the community respects you as a police officer and the police officer respects the community. So I can tell you that as the mayor of this city, I'm excited about the future of Baltimore because it's minds like these who sit on this stage and people out there like yourselves who come here to hear about visions and things that we can do together. And it's how we work together. It's how we become more inclusive. It's how we become more diverse and respect neighborhoods. And I tell folks, Downtown is wonderful. We need a great downtown, but guess what? We need great neighborhood investment as well. And so I work on behalf of each and every one of you every day to change how people see our city by becoming more inclusive, by becoming more diverse, 
by understanding that every single individual, whether they are homeless or wealthy, deserve respect, a place to live, and everybody wants the same thing. We want to love our city. We want to grow communities and neighborhoods. And we want to allow those who have creative dreams and ideas to flourish in our city. To not question why you're in Baltimore. Know that this is a place where you can grow, experience. We have some, one of the greatest, I believe, cultural institutions in our city. And some of the greatest minds that think every day. A billion dollars we brought back to build new schools in our city. And we opened up two this year. We'll open up four this year, two last year, seven next year building in our neighborhoods and communities because we believe, as you believe, that every child deserves the same thing. A complete education. An education that is not different on one side of town than it is on the other. That the school building, when you walk in it, that you ought to be able to turn on the water fountain. And you ought to be able to sit in a classroom where opportunity is there in your school as well as it will be in another. I enjoy the tech community, the incubators that are springing up all around town, the R houses that are being built in our communities, giving opportunity for those to share and grow their businesses. Baltimore can be the greatest city in America, but it's how we work together, become more inclusive, understand our diversity, and respect each other, and be proud every day of a city that has had many problems, but not problems that we can't overcome. And so I am grateful that every day I pinch myself that I get to do this work on behalf of all of you and to salute the visionaries in our city who believe in Baltimore, who want to be here, who know that we can be a great city. But again, it's how we continue to work together. God bless you and God bless all 30 of the visionaries in our city. Thank you.